This workshop, like the previous workshops, was really quite ambitious. It rests on the premise that usually the best work at conferences doesn't happen in the conference room, but it happens on the corridors. So what we're trying to do is bring the corridors into the conference room. Foresight has been at this for a long time and they're really good at it. Getting the right mix of people together to come up with ideas that alone they probably could not have. This is a hard thing to do. We started this off by Jonathan Barnes, who was the workshop chair, and David Forrest from the DOE, kicking us off with presentations about why are we even talking about molecular machines? Why is this exciting? Why is this important? Can we design and build complex artificial molecular machines on par with nature's elegant systems? We always use this terminology a lot. It's bio-inspired, it's biomimetic, and a lot of times that's just garbage, right? It's, it's not even close because nature just blows us out of the water. From there on, we then took a step back and considered current existing state-of-the-art research and current research that participants were already working on right now. In my group, we think about how do we build small molecules and pharmaceutical agents using these sustainable types of reactions using biocatalysis. We develop theories which account for the quantum nature of atoms and electrons. We manipulate the matter atom at a time by electron beams rather than by scanning probe. We study magnetic structures and ask questions like, what's the smallest possible magnet? Of course, an additional perk on Saturday night's dinner was that one award was given by Sir Fraser Stoddard in person, who received the Nobel Prize for uh, the design and production of molecular machines in chemistry in 2016. Now, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great delight to be here. Uh, this is always a community that I warm to, uh, and I feel I'm at home when I come to a foresight uh, workshop. It takes special people to uh, bring about something uh, as memorable at this stage as foresight. And as I looked at each table, they are by and large quite an eclectic mixture of uh, people with very, very different backgrounds. And uh, they will surely come up with some interesting proposals this afternoon. So the second day was really about getting the technical meat down of what would be involved in tackling each of those five different proposals. What is the vision? What are potential future applications? Or how is this pushing the current state of that research forward? And then thirdly, what are the logistics? What are the funding sources that you might want to tackle here? What is the time frame here? It's intense. People are really focused on their proposal ideas. Well, it's very enjoyable meeting nanoscience researchers from different fields and brainstorming with them, bringing different experiences and different backgrounds to the same goals of controlling matter on the atomic scale. In the end, we came up with a real proposal and a presentation about it. The idea was to bring all the molecular machine and switches that exist in the literature together and to, to build this kind of ultimate molecular machine that is going to do work. The top five proposals that actually made into the final round to be pitched to the judges were all really working on this pretty ambitious goal of integrating existing research toward molecular machines. Okay, so the idea was to combine atomically precise uh, lithography with uh, DNA origami. Modular polymer catalysts could discover new catalysts that could be used in a modular way with other integrated nanosystems. Our overarching goal for this particular project is energy storage systems. We want to store light or chemical energy as mechanical energy. The proposal that was picked by the judges was a different proposal than the one that was picked by the Public Choice Award. So go to our white paper at foresight.org or go to our YouTube channel on this workshop and check out the different proposal pitches yourself. There are short videos of each and I'd be curious to see which one is your favorite.